All right, I'd like to welcome you to the YouTube basics videos. And in these videos, in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how that you can get traffic from YouTube. Now, first of all, YouTube can make you famous faster than acting and can absolutely flood your site with traffic. Now, this is because YouTube is accessible to hundreds of millions of people around the world. YouTube videos can be shared with millions of internet users by a single mouse click due to the availability of the sharing buttons on YouTube pages. Now, in addition, internet marketers are making use of YouTube for making for marketing purposes because it's one of the most effective strategies to boost SEO campaigns. Now, the following are a couple of simple tips on how you can get traffic from YouTube. Now, first of all, what you want to do is you want to brand your videos. You want to include your website URL within the video and also in the descriptions. Now, you can begin by doing an introdu introduction of your products and website to the viewers or put your URL at the end of your video. If no viewers know where and how to find you, your page will almost always be busy. It'll always be getting traffic. Okay, now another tip is you want to create unique and quality videos. All right, it's important that you're not putting out junk. Viewers want to see clear pictures and hear your words clearly, just like on television. Do not chase viewers away by creating a poor quality video. In addition, you should ensure that your videos load easily so as to encourage viewers to watch till the end and also share the video with their friends. Now, the more viewers there are, the higher the traffic to your website. Now, you also want to optimize your videos. YouTube marketing also works like any other internet marketing tool, and when creating your videos, it's advisable to pay special attention to the keywords and tags that you use. Select the most appropriate keywords for your video title so as to, to attract more viewers and eventually boost traffic to your website. Also, you need to give a catchy and optimized description of your videos to ensure that internet users can find you during a general internet search. Internet search is always guided by keywords, therefore you want to learn how to generate traffic from YouTube by learning the basics of SEO first. Now, the very first thing that you need to do in order to start getting traffic from YouTube is you need to go ahead and create a YouTube account. So you just want to go right to youtube.com and over here on the right you're going to see a button that says create an account. It also says sign in so if you already have an account you can just sign in but you'll see it says create an account. Okay. So what you need to do is you need to click on that button and from here, it's going to ask you a couple of different questions, all right? Now, since YouTube was bought by Google, creating a new YouTube account, you'll be creating a new Google account at the same time. And the whole process is very straightforward, as you can see on this registration page. And all you have to do is enter in your personal information and details over here on the right of this page, okay? You're going to want to enter your name. You're going to want to choose a Google username. Now, if you already have a Gmail account, okay, you can log in with that information as well. All right. You can enter any username that you like as long as it's not taken by someone else. And the site will notify you if it is taken by someone else. Now, the easiest thing to do is if you have a Gmail account, you can just log in with your Gmail account. You can log right in. Okay. Okay. So once you've filled out this page, you're going to fill in the capture forms. Then you're going to just click on the next step button. Okay. And once you've clicked on that next step, you're going to be forwarded to the welcome page where you'll be able to see your new email address and you'll be able to click on the back 
to YouTube button. So you just want to, before we go any further, you know, take a minute or two to go ahead and join as a new YouTube user. And I'll see you, I'll give you about 30 seconds to do that. Right. Now you should be signed in. And if you are signed in now, you're going to see over on the right hand side here that there's going to be a little button. It's going to have your name in there, right? The name that you just you just created should be right in there. Okay, so now the next thing that we're going to do, the very next thing that we're going to do is we're going to discover different ways to find keywords to rank your YouTube videos, okay? Now, as the number of videos uploaded in YouTube increases, there really does arise a need of YouTube search engine optimization. The days of just throwing up a video and getting traffic just from YouTube are over. Okay, YouTube search engine optimization refers to the various methods that are involved in order to increase a video visibility by the YouTube search engine. YouTube search engine optimization increases a video ranking after a search is conducted. So if you optimize your searches well, your videos well, when people search for something like your video, chances are if you did a good job, you should show up you know, near the top. Now, high ranking for videos has numerous benefits, and by having a top video ranking on YouTube, one is able to increase the number of views for his or her work. Now, a proper keyword selection for YouTube should follow the following. Okay, first off, you want to consider the user's input. When selecting a keyword for YouTube search engine optimization, it's essential to put in mind what the user is likely to enter as his or her search term. After that, you can choose your keyword. Now, you do want to avoid vanity words and, you know, company names or celebrity names, okay? Vanity keywords are keywords that are likely to be used on other related videos. Now, when you have a similar keyword with a well-known artist or a company, you're likely to get very poor search rankings. And in simple terms, it's necessary to use more specific words. You want to use longer tail keywords when using YouTube. Like if you were going to put together a video on internet marketing, you wouldn't want to just use internet marketing as the keywords as tags. You would want to get more specific like internet marketing for beginners or internet marketing with WordPress. You want to really add some keywords onto that and get much more specific in what it is that your video is about. Okay, now another thing that you want to do is choose a keyword that is easily repeatable. Now the keyword helps in locating your YouTube file, but the keyword density is used to rank the various search results. Now due to this reason, for one to get high video rankings, the keyword density should be enhanced by making sure that the keyword is repeated a reasonable amount of times. What I like to do is when, when creating a new video, and I'll show you in just a second, I'll repeat my keyword phrase a couple of times. I'll repeat it in the title of the video, then in the description, and then again in the keyword tags. Okay, now another thing that you want to do is you want to consider the character of video. Now the keyword should be in some way describe the character and the type of your video. The YouTube search algorithm sometimes uses the nature of the video to display its search results. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to upload our first video. So over here on the right, you're going to see just over to the left of your username, there's going to be a link that says upload. And all you need to do is you need to click right on that, okay? And you can either drag in files, like you could drag a file right in here, or you can click on the select files from your computer, okay? And I want to upload this video right here, so I'm going to click on open, okay? Now, a couple of things right off the bat. You can see that this movie is uploading, okay? 
and it tells us the time that's remaining. Now, right now, this is titled as one dot mov. Dot mov is the type of file, but that's not a very good title. What we want to use here, we want to use our main keywords. Okay, we want to use our main keywords here. And then once again, we want to use our main keywords as the description. Now, what we want right here is we want a link. The very first thing that we're going to put in the description is always going to be a link back to our main site. Okay, that's very important. And then we'll put a space right here. And then once again, what we want here is we want our main keywords here and variations of our main keywords here. Okay? Those are two very important things. Okay, next thing that we're going to do is we can choose if we have public, unlisted, or private. If you want to get traffic, you're definitely going to want to keep this as public. Okay, we're going to choose a category. You're going to want your category to fit, you know, the video that you have just put up. So I'll go ahead and use how to install. Okay, and then you have different choices here. I always use just a standard YouTube license. Okay, so our main thing is we have our main keywords here. We have our domain name ver first. That's the very first thing that we have. And then for tags, we have our main keywords. And that's pretty much it. Those are the only things that I put in my on my videos. And then what you want to do is you just want to save this auto save. And you can see that our upload is complete and when we click on the link we can see that our video that we just loaded is right there. So in closing you can see it's not very hard to create a YouTube account and get your videos uploaded at YouTube and even get some traffic. So I encourage you if you don't have a YouTube account yet go ahead and get yourself one.